Welcome to Amazonia. That's what we call this really cool rainforest that I live in. My name is Brooke, and I live here with my family and my best friend, Monkey Moo. Monkey Moo and I love to swing from vine to vine and monkey around the forest. Hey, would you like to be little monkeys with us? Perfect! Did you know that monkeys are just one of the many kinds of animals that make their home here in Amazonia? I wonder what other animals we might see as we swing from vine to vine. Hmm. <gasps> Did you hear that? Everyone, quick, put your hand to your ear and see if you can hear that sound. <gasps> there it is again. Hmm. Which one of these animals do you think made that sound? <gasps> yes! The tree frog says, Ribbit, ribbit. Do you know why? Every sound that we hear here in the wild is saying, God, I love you. And to celebrate, let's all stand up and sing a song. The crocodile goes chomp. The crocodile goes chomp. The crocodile goes chomp. To say, just like him. Let me hear you say, ooh, one time. Great, rule number one is to be kind. And you can be kind by listening. If you could be a kind monkey who listens, let me hear you click on your listening ears. Click, click, great job. Now let me hear you say, ooh, two times. Perfect, rule number two is to be safe. You can be safe by keeping a lookout when you're climbing high or swinging low. Let's all put on our special eyes together. Zoop, zoop. You are marvelous little monkeys. One thing monkeys like to do is climb trees. Do you see a good tree to climb? Monkey Moo thinks that it looks like the perfect climbing tree. Everyone wiggle your climbing fingers. Now let's put on our climbing hands to work. Shimmy up that tree with me. Wow! I can see some pretty flowers up here, but I want to see the whole forest. So let's climb up higher. Here we go! We made it to the canopy! Lots of animals and birds live up here. I can even see the sun shining brightly up here. That's something we don't always see on the forest floor. But I see one tree that's higher than all the rest. Let's climb just a little more and get up there. Then we'll get to see all of Amazonia. We did it! We made it to the top of the tallest tree in all the forest. Ooh, and up here, we can see the tops of all the 
trees and you can see the big river too. <gasps> I wonder who made all of the things that we see. These trees are so beautiful and so are the birds and the flowers we saw. Way down there. <gasps> oh my, we sure are up high. The ground looks so far away. Um, it's going to be way too hard to climb back down. Uh, what do we do? What do we do? What, Monkey Moo? He has an idea. What if we let our friend Amazon Andy know that we need his help? He lives in the treehouse high up in the canopy. He always helps me when I get myself into some monkey mess. Oh, and he has the best stories. Andy and I made a special call that we do when we meet each other. All we have to do is make this sound. Ooh ee, ooh ee! Let's all do it together. Ooh ee, ooh ee! Hi friends, I see you could use a little help. And I think I know exactly what you need. Whenever my family and I don't know what to do, we go to the Bible for answers. Today's story reminds me a lot of Amazonia. In the first book of the Bible, called Genesis, we read that in the very beginning, there was nothing in our world. Everything was very dark. Let me see all my monkey friends close your eyes really tight. The only thing you can see is darkness when your eyes are closed. That's how it was before God made the world. But God said, let there be light, and there was light. Okay, you can all open your eyes again. God saw that the light was good, so he made day and he made night. And that was the very first day. On the second day, God made the sky and he made the water. On day three, God called the dry ground land and the water seas. He also made plants and trees. On day four, God made two great lights for the sky. Friends, what is the name of the bright light we see in the daytime? The sun. Yes. And what is the bright light in the sky at nighttime? The moon. You got it. On day four, God made the sun and the moon. But he wasn't finished because God wanted the world to be full of things he loves. So on the fifth day, God made animals that fly in the sky and swim in the sea. The next day, Day six, God made all the animals that move on land and the wild animals, like the kind we have living around us out here. But day six was a special day because that is when God made the things he loves most. God made people. First, he made a boy named Adam. Then he made a girl named Eve. And he's still making people like us. So that's the story of how God made everything we see. Isn't it amazing that God is the one who created the world and you and me? If you think so, let me hear you say this after me. God, God made, made me. me. That's right. God made you and he sees you way up in that tree. Instead of thinking about how high up you are, try to find things that God has made and say them out loud on your way down. I've got to go, but I hope you have fun monkeying around today. So long. Thanks, Amazon Andy. I knew you would know how to help. Let's start climbing down, and when you see something amazing that God made, shout it out. We're doing it. Do you see anything that God made? I see a bird too. Oh, God made that bird and me and you. Okay, let's keep climbing down. Do you see anything God created? Oh, yes, it's so pretty. God uses power to make these pretty flowers and he made you and me pretty too. Oh. And it smells so great. Now on the count of three, let's all jump down out of the tree. Ready? One, two, three. We did it! 
and we saw so many things that God made on our way down. There's absolutely nothing too hard for God to do. Let's keep standing and sing a song to celebrate. Jeremiah 32, 17. You got it. Don't forget that God made me, Monkey Moo, and God made you too. Bye!